Many hummingbirds traverse great distances each year between winter resorts in Mexico or Central America and breeding grounds as far north as Alaska and the Yukon. How do hummingbirds, the lightest and smallest birds with huge energy demands, travel 500 miles in one day across the Gulf of Mexico, in the case of the ruby-throated hummingbird, or 2,700 miles across mountains and deserts, in the case of the rufous hummingbird? How do they accomplish this amazing feat, and why? In this video, we'll look to the rufous hummingbird for some answers and examples. Why the rufous? Well, it's my favorite hummingbird. How do hummingbirds migrate such great distances? The rufous hummingbird travels 2,700 miles in its migration from Mexico to Alaska. Rufous hummingbirds are bright red and orange with a spicy personality to match their color. They appear to devote a lot of their time and energy to driving off other hummingbirds from flowers and nectar feeders. Kind of makes me wonder how they can consume enough food to bulk up the additional 25 to 40 percent of body weight necessary to sustain long migrations. Rufous males are among the first to arrive in their summer breeding grounds, followed by females a couple of weeks later. Spring migration is split up into short sections that appears to be related to the appearance of spring flowers. It is thought that the birds do not want to overpass the availability of food. Spring migration is hard on birds. Strong winds, early spring snows, rain, freezing temperatures, all these sap their energy and also diminishes the availability of, of uh, spring flowers. Rufous hummingbirds spend the summer breeding in coastal temperate rainforests of western Canada, Pacific Northwestern U.S., and up to coastal southeastern Alaska. Well, this brings us to the question of what triggers migration instinct. This is a topic among ornithologists, and there are varying theories. However, it is generally thought that the uh, change in length of day is a key factor to trigger the migration instinct. Hummingbirds travel during the day, just above the treetops or above water. This is so that they can see the flowers and feeders that are available along their migration route. Hummingbirds will arrive in their migratory destination and in the stopover spots within a few days of the same date each year. First year rufous hummingbirds apparently have a malfunction in their internal compass, which can allow them to migrate far off course in directions that lead to locations where there is little chance of winter survival. Young rufous regularly stray into the eastern United States and out over the Pacific Ocean. Those who successfully find feeders and gardens in the southeast U.S. may return for a few seasons. Others who get stranded over the ocean or in colder climates are doomed. Migration routes are refined with experience. Individual birds may develop different successful routes each year. Rufous hummingbirds will spend the winter in west coastal Mexico into central and southern Mexico. Once the days begin to lengthen and winter becomes spring, the migratory instinct again awakens and these tiny avian wonders will once again set out on their migratory path toward their northern breeding grounds. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos right here on Birds and More. Until next time. Bye for now.